How you doing? This is Mark Brand from Alpha Controls and you're watching Brands Brands. We talk about everything instrumentation. Today, we're going to talk about calibration. Selecting the right calibration service provider isn't as easy as it sounds. There's many things to consider. Here's a few where I think you need to start. Accreditation, scope and capabilities, uncertainty budgets, turnaround times, as well as the calibration certificate. Let's take a look at these in a bit more detail. If your industry requires your calibration to be 7025 accredited, then you're gonna to have to make sure that your calibration service provider is also accredited. And this has to be done through a recognized accreditation body, such as A2LA, CLASS, or NAVLAB. Once you find an accredited lab, you need to ensure that they're capable of doing all your instrumentation. Luckily, there's a document out there called the Scope of Accreditation, and it's usually found on their website. It looks something like this. Ours can be found at the bottom of our first page. For example, a lab might be accredited for temperature, but their uncertainties might not be anywhere where you need them to be. So you need to ensure you review this document to make sure you're making the most informed decision. Okay, Tony, here's a rush. Oh, okay, I'm on it. The next thing to consider is how soon you can get your equipment back. Might seem like an easy question, but there's many factors that can affect a lab's turnaround time. One important question to ask is, do you offer a rush service? Or like we do here at Alpha, next on the bench? Last but certainly not least, is this. The calibration certificate is the last thing I wanted to discuss. This is very important because it not only contains all your calibration data, but also it's gonna be what an auditor looks at when they're auditing your facility. Every calibration lab is gonna issue a calibration certificate, but by ensuring that it meets all your QA requirements ahead of time, is gonna save you a pile of headache down the road. I hope you found this video helpful and please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode of Brands Brands.